Kamala Harris's polarizing record as a prosecutor is not only terrifying, but the things that she has done in the past have set black people back further than Trump could ever do. You see, Democrats love to talk about systemic racism and how it's such a problem, yet they always fail to point out that the systematic racism that they claim is embedded everywhere came from them. We know that the Democrats are responsible for the creation of the Ku Klux Klan. The Republican Party in Texas was started on the 4th of July, 1867 in Houston, Texas by 150 blacks and 20 whites. It was that way across the South. The Republican parties were started in the South by African Americans. In the state of Texas, two of our first three statewide Republican chairmen were African American. Uh, the first 42 black legislators elected in Texas were all Republican. The first 112 black legislators elected in Mississippi were all Republican. The first 190 black legislators elected in South Carolina were all Republican. 1866, Democrats themselves started the Ku Klux Klan. Its purpose was not to kill blacks. Its purpose was to take control and return Democrats to power. Their, their stated purpose in the KKK was to stop Republicans and restore democratic control. Now, if you're looking for a Republican that you want to take care of, you, you can wipe out any black you want because they're 100% Republicans at that point in time. You can't wipe out any white. I mean, some whites might be Democrats. You gotta be a little more judicious when you're wiping out whites. So what happens is the Ku Klux Klan starts attacking, not blacks, Republican conventions. For example, in New Orleans, in the Republican convention in Louisiana, the Klan joined with the New Orleans police joined with the New Orleans mayor, Democrats. They attacked physically at the convention in New Orleans, Republican convention. They killed 40 blacks, killed 20 whites. They wounded 150 others. 1868, they put out a push card in South Carolina, and it listed what they called the radical members of the South Carolina legislature. That push card's about the size of a baseball card. It was put up by the Klan. The Klan put it out. It had the, the pictures of 63 legislators that needed to be wiped out in South Carolina. 50 of those legislators were black, 13 were white. Now, they were all 63 Republican. On the back of the card, it gave you the name of each legislator so you'd know who you're trying to kill. Congress starts these hearings in this group called the Klan, and they have hearings, and, and so they bring in Democrat leaders that under oath from these Democrat states said, yes, the Klan belongs to our party. It's actually in Congress. 1872, the hearings, it's a 13-volume set of hearings in Congress. Unequivocally, Democrats say the Klan is ours and belongs to us. It's there to restore Democrat control in the southern states. 